So you might be asked to write the name for Fe3O4. This is an iron oxide, but specifically it gets confusing about how we write the Roman numerals for the iron here since it's a transition metal. So as we look at this, this is a neutral compound. There's no negative or positive charge after it. So all of the charges, they're going to add up to zero. And we know that oxygen is always two minus. So if it's going to all add up to zero, four times two minus, that's eight minus. So this has to be eight plus. So three times something has to give us eight plus. And really there's no whole number. It's going to have to be a fraction. It's going to be eight thirds. So how do we think about a charge of eight thirds? So clearly something's going on here. But this is a real compound. It's called magnetite. And this is actually what it looks like in nature. This is a sample that contains magnetite. So it's a real compound. It's a crystal. And the Fe304 would be a formula unit in the crystal. Here's what's going on. Fe304 is made up of two iron oxides. We have iron 2 oxide. That's just FeO. And then we have iron 3 oxide, which is Fe2O3. So we have these two separate iron oxides, and they're together in the compound in this Fe304. Because of that, the name, we call it iron, and then we have two, that's for this iron two oxide, comma three, and then we put the oxide at the end. So the name for Fe304 is iron two comma three oxide. So this one's a bit confusing if you're given Fe304. Really what should clue you in that there's a problem is when you get that fractional charge there. This is Dr. B with the name for Fe304, iron 2,3 oxide. Thanks for watching.